Hope you are doing well. So today is our day six of doing 50 SQL based problems on lead code to be able to crack any SQL based interview. So from today we are going to start the second section of these 50 problems that is about joins. So this section contains nine problems and all are related to joins. Okay. So let's start with today's problem that is about replace employee ID with the unique identifier. We are given a table called employees which have two IDs, two columns ID and name. ID is the primary key while name contains name of the employee in the company. Okay, then we have another table which is called employee unique. Now this table contains ID and unique ID. ID and unique ID both are combinedly making a primary key. Each row of this table contains the ID and the cor corresponding unique ID of an employee in the company. Okay. Means um, we have employees and then we have the unique IDs of the employees. Okay. Now we have to write a solution to show the unique ID of each user. If a user does not have a unique ID, replace just with null, okay? So now we have to list down all the unique IDs of our employees, okay? That is, that are in the employee unique table, okay? The result can be in any, any order. Now let's go through the example test case, which have employees table, with five employees, Alice, Bob, Mayor, Winston, and Jonathan. And then we have employee unit table, which contains unique IDs of three employees with ID three, Jonathan, then for 11, Mayor, and then for 90, Winston. Okay, so these three have unique IDs in the unit table and Alice and Bob's unique ID is null. Okay, so our result should be the list of all these names. Okay, first column with all these names and the second column unique ID where for Elias and Bob we will have null and for Mayor, Winston and Jonathan we will have one, two, three, their unique IDs. Okay, so you can see here the output, the unique ID column and then name column. Okay. So now for this, we are going to write the solution. Now, as I told you before that this section is about joins. Okay. So we are going to have select from table. Okay. And then we have to apply the join. And then for join, we know that we are going to have on which column we are going to apply the join. Okay. We are going to join two tables data and on which column basis. Okay. So now what we need is we need unique ID and name. Now from which table? From employee table. From employee table, we are going to get the name and from employee unit table, we are going to get the unique ID. Okay. So for unique ID, let me put it here EU dot unique ID and E dot name. This will tell me from where, from which table this column is coming. Okay. Now, which type of join we have to apply? Now, there are different type of joins like right join, inner join, cross join, outer join, left join. Okay. All have different purposes and are used in different scenarios. To know about the type of joins, you can um, go through the link given in the description of this video. Okay. So now in the current scenario, we are going to use the left join. Okay. What does left join do? Left join joins the data of two tables in such a way that it returns all the columns, all the rows from the first table. Okay. This is my table one. This is my table two. Left join. You, you can see that this is the left table. This is the right table. Okay. So left join returns us all the rows from the left table. And for all the rows, it gets, it checks for the value in the second table. If we get 
the value it returns is the value if it doesn't find any value against each a, a specific row in the right table then it returns null like in our scenario we had five rows alice bob and etc whatever it was abc let's make it abc okay this was by table one and then we have table two okay let's assign them the ids of our choice and then we had here like id three four five double zero x double zero y double zero z okay so far this is the id and this is the id column this is the column on which we on the basis of which we are combining both tables and this is the unique id column which we are getting and this is the name column okay so now uh, as this is the left table and this is the right table and we are going to apply the left join so our resultant table will contain all the rows from the left table okay so our resultant table is going to have all the names okay means elise bob a b and c okay now for each uh, name in the left table it will get the id as we are going to apply the left join based on the ids of both in the both tables because id is the column that is common in both tables okay so it will get the id of the allies and search for that id in this call table it doesn't find anything it doesn't find id in the right table id of allies in the right table so for that it returns unique id as null then why it goes for the bob the id of bob is 2 and we don't have 2 id in our right table so for bob it also returns null then it goes for id of a that is 3 it finds the result 3 in the right table and it gets the unique identifier unique id for that record then same it will go for b and will return double zero y then double zero z so this is what we should have in our resultant table i took the data as temporary not exactly that was given here so but I hope so you have understood the case. So this is how left join works. We are going to apply the left join here and on which column we are going to apply where eu.id is equal to e.id. Okay, so that's it. This is how simple it is. So now let's run the query to see if it works um yes okay so we have from okay okay left join this was the syntax select from then we were to apply the left join and then the on clause invalid object name it is employees not employ okay our test case got accepted our output matched the expected output so now let's run the submit the solution and see if it works and it has passed all the test cases and we have written 59.52% of the users with MS SQL Server. Okay, so that's all about today's problem. Let's meet tomorrow with another problem. Allah, please.